I'm logged into the Fiori Launchpad and we will navigate to the application called Manage Journal Entries. And as you can see, there are two versions. The old version I have explained you in another video. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. However, we will now display and talk about the new version. This version is available since SAP S4HANA 2023 Feature Pack Stack 01. Let's click on this one. And here you can see the start screen for our Managed Journal Entries application. First of all, as always, there is a search bar over here where we could insert our filters and then hit on Go so only the journal entries according to our filters will be displayed. Then you can see the journal entries are being displayed in this tab over here. Let me scroll down a bit. Here we can click on the blue number and navigate to other applications. Some of those I already explained to you in my playlist about finance. I will leave you the link in the description of this video. However, we can for sure jump into the journal entry by selecting the arrow over here. This will open kind of a split structure where we can display our information for the already posted journal entry. Most of the information is known by you already. So we have different tabs in the general information section. There is the document header text being displayed as well as the document type this journal entry was posted in, the company code and some more reference information as well as date and time information like the journal entry date and the posting date, so where the financial data was posted into the system and the fiscal year period. In the line item section, we now have two different views. We can toggle between the ledger view. So this is the view also including line items that were generated by the system for our profit center or segment balances and the entry view, which shows how we inserted the data when we posted the financial transaction. As you can see right now, both of the views display the same accounts. However, it could be that the ledger view will display more accounts than the entry view as certain line items could have been added by the system automatically. Then we have a section for taxes where the taxes are being displayed and we can scroll to the right to also see the tax base amount and whether there's a debit or credit. Then we have a note section where we could insert some notes and we have an attachment section. However, unfortunately, even with a new managed journal entries application, it is still not possible to link business documents that could be archived in our journal entry document over here. From this view, we could also edit our journal entry by clicking on the editing button. And then we could adjust certain parameters, as you can see, like the document header text and then save. Let me click on cancel for now. We can also reverse the journal entry by clicking on reverse. We need to include a reversal reason as well as a posting date and then click on reverse. For now we will cancel. We can create a correspondence. This will navigate us to the create correspondence application. And from here we can choose a correspondence which can be sent for instance via mail to a customer. Let's go back. We can also inspect the document flow via this application. As you can see, we are forwarded to the display document flow application where all our document flows regarding this journal entry are being displayed. By the way, I have another video explaining you this application. I will leave you a link in the description of this one. For now, we will go back and back again. Furthermore, we can select the journal entry and also from here we could reverse it or create a correspondence or also display the journal entry in a T-account view. Let's quickly click on this one. Here you can see we are forwarded to the application called display journal entries in T-account view displaying our journal entry with the credit and debit in a visualized way. Let's go back, click on display again and the document flow we have already seen in the detailed screen a minute ago. And we can also inspect the change log so that we can see who changed this journal entry. So far so good. As you can see, there are more buttons. Before we come to the create and upload buttons, you may notice that the copy button is grayed out. This is because the journal entry I selected right now was created via a customer invoice application. The only way to copy journal entries from the managed journal entries application is when we create a journal entry via the create button over here. You will see this in a second. Let's do it right now. Click on create. We are forwarded to the post general journal entries application. I will quickly go through the application as I've explained you the application in another video. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. Let's copy the posting date to the journal entry date. Let me just adjust the company code and the currency. And then we will choose our bank account as an example, debited with 1000. And then I will say petty cash 
and also I will credit this account with 1000. The balance is zero, so we can post. You can see the document was posted successful, click on OK and then go back. Now if we scroll up a bit and click on go again, you can now see we have 36 journal entries instead of 35. And here's the new document I just posted. If we select this document, you can now see I could copy it from here. So if I click on copy, I can select that I either want to generate a reverse posting, I do not want to propose amounts, or I want to recalculate amounts in local currencies. For now I will say do not propose amounts, click on copy, and now you can see all the information I filled in before, except the amounts, are copied. And I could easily adjust now my journal entry and post it. Let's go back. Despite the option to create a journal entry manually, we can also click on upload. This will forward us to the application Upload General Journal Entries, where we can upload our general journal entries via an Excel template. I have explained you this application extensively in another video of mine. I will leave you the link in the description of this one. And last but not least, further to the right, I could copy the information being displayed over here. So meaning that I could, for instance, mark all of them, click on copy, then close my SAP and open an Excel file and paste it like that. So now you could work with the information in Excel. Let's close the Excel for now. And we could also toggle here between the views. So if I select this view, you can see a bit more information is being displayed. We could adjust the columns that will be displayed in the overview or also via this button, export the current selection to an Excel file or even to a PDF document via export as. Last but not least, we can verify our journal entries via this button, but this is only used if we have a workflow in place for the creation of journal entries. So meaning that one person creates the journal entry in a, let's say, draft mode, and another person verifies this journal entry, and then the journal entry is posted. I will make a separate video about that in future. We can display the change log or also view the reversal logs from here. Last but not least, there's another tab called predictive journal entries. Let's click on this one. So here we could see the journal entries regarding our predictive accounting. So meaning that the system can also predict future accounting postings with the information available as of now. But this is subject to another session. This marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.